For this lesson, we're going to take a long strip of paper and we're going to design just fun birds. Okay, and then we're going to watercolor them. So you need the piece of paper that I provided to you and you need a black Sharpie. Um, both a, a fine and ultra fine would work. And then your paint brushes and bowl of water and uh, either your tube watercolors or the set of cake watercolors. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we've got our very long skinny piece of, of paper with our straight line and our circles and we're going to turn these into birds. So we get to design our own birds and they can be simple or they can be complicated. I made mine pretty simple. Um, so you're going to be working with your pencils. Uh, I have mine as black markers so you can see. And we're going to start, I'm going to put this at an angle so I can draw, make sure that you can see this. Um, so I'm going to take this basic circle shape and I'm going to make eyes. So these are just fun. We're just having an opportunity to kind of be kind of cartoonish. And we'll do and a little playful in our designing. Now, uh, the feet are very easy to do. You just do one, two, three. And then you go down and you go one, two, three. And then you can put lines there if you want to, for, the, for their toes. And then you can go like that. Okay, so very simple. And then, you know, birds have different things on the tops of their heads, their feathers stick out, and then they have some wings. So we can design different kinds of wings. I'm going to get rid of some of my pencil marks here. We are going to be watercoloring these, so we want to make sure that our pencil marks are not too visible. Okay, so can you see I've got one one bird designed and I'm using a skinny uh, marker. You can also use a, a pencil if you would like, um, a colored pencil to do your line work after you've got your bird design. Okay, so I'm going to make an oval here and I'm putting them at a little bit of a diagonal give this bird a different look and then a black eyeball and an oval shape as well and a slightly different shaped beak Some eyelashes. See, we're just keeping these simple but cute, right? And its wings are out, almost like it's trying to take off in flight. And then I made these circles so that they're not all the same. Uh, so this one's got some leg showing. And then we can do the one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you want to put little nails coming off of that, you can do that. One, two, three, down, one two, and three. And 
you can do little lines here if you want. Okay, so there's our our second bird. Okay, so I've had two that are facing towards us, right? But I want to do this one as it's um, facing to the side. So I'm going to put its beak up here. And then I'm going to just see one eye. Do another oval. And then we're going to see more of the wing, right? So I'm making this look a little bit like an angel wing. And we can do little spiral on the top of its head if we want and then we're going to do part of its we're only going to see part of its feet and so then here is the third bird smudged a little bit here so I'm going to Okay, so now you can also do a version where you're taking the basic circle that I've given you, but we're eventually going to, I, I can't do it because it's, uh, I've got marker there, but if yours is in pencil, so you can uh, erase the top of this, but you're going to make the top of its head so it's more like an oval shaped bird. So this is going to be erased. And then you can do kind of the same thing down at the bottom so you end up with a very different shaped bird. So you're going to erase the top and the bottom of the bird. And we'll give it some smaller eyes than what we did the last couple of birds. And you do not have to make your birds look like mine. I'm just giving you some suggestions. There we go. And a beak. off to the side, tuft of uh, feathers on its head. Yes. So we've got our wings. Now don't forget to erase, if you do this shape, erase the top and the bottom of your circle. that top line on this bird's eye, a double line, so it's, it looks like an eyelid, kind of. Okay, now, I've never seen a, a bird wearing glasses, but as an artist, we can definitely make birds that wear glasses. So we're going to do two big ovals. I don't like the eyes that we did before. And then we're going to put little ear pieces 
on each side. This is a bird who likes to eat to to read books. under that and some wings now if you don't want to get all fancy with these birds that's fine you can just do eyes and a beak right and keep them really simple now this I'm putting Kind of different feet on it. Almost like he's standing up on his tippy toes. So there we have our fifth bird done. Okay, so on this one, we've done so that they're facing forward or facing to the side. This one we're going is turning our it's back to us. So what we're going to do is just focus on the tail feathers. So make it go all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to do the individual feathers coming down. Let's make this go down a little bit further. Okay, and then you're going to see the wings. And that's about it, right? You're just going to see. So what you want to do with this one then is erase these. Okay. That will... give you the look of it's turning its back to us. And you're going to keep this part of the circle but not that. And you're not going to see the uh, uh, feet on that either, right? Okay, so here's some close-ups of the birds. Again, you, may, you design your own birds. Have fun with it. Okay, so now it's time to make these birds different colors. So we want to use some nice bright colors. I think what I'll do is make the glasses black because it could be a little tricky painting these thin spaces right here. So I'm going to take my Sharpie and color those in. Now again, I'm going to use two watercolors because it makes brighter colors, but if you want to use your um, watercolor, the, the uh, cake set, couldn't think of the word there, the cake set, if you feel better using that, then that, that's fine as well. But before you paint, you need to go, you can pause the the video and you need to trace over your lines with your sharpie
Okay. Make sure you get all of your crumbs off. And now it's time for us to choose our paints. So I'm going to do the background kind of a light blue so for the sky. So I'm going to avoid using a blue, a straight blue as a uh, for a bird. Um, but for example, I could use this Prussian blue because it's dark. And I'll probably use this um, cerulean blue for the for the background. So I'm going to so you can use a lighter a lighter blue. Um, so let me get a better brush here. That one's pretty bad. Maybe the cat's been chewing on it. Anyway, so make sure that you've used use enough water. Try not to paint over the black lines, but if you do, once it's dry, you can go back over it. We'll put some red on the wings, and that bird is all done. bird. I want to do a yellow bird. Picking out my color. That blue bird. Kind of a lime green bird. So I have one, two, three, four, five more. One, two, three, four. And then I want to do a purple bird. Nice bright birds. So in this project, the, the color makes it more eye-catching, but the fun, the character of the bird is what makes the composition enjoyable, right?
then we are going to go inside the glasses too. Okay, so for some of the um, feet and the beaks, I'm going to use this, uh, it's called yellow ochre, so it's kind of a harvest gold color. Okay, I think I'll do a purple one next. Just a touch more water on there. to the gold. Oops. 
Okay, so now I'm going to do an orangish one. Then we'll finish the beak and the toes. Okay, so we have green, lime green left, and then our blue. Keep forgetting this is more of a hunter green than a lime green. The outside they make it look like it's a lime green. So that doesn't help me remember. Go back to the 
fold again. This one's got some leg. Okay, so take a look at it, and we've got our our birds all painted, and so now we're going to take some of this uh, a lighter blue, and we're and we're going to I'm going to use a slightly th oh here it is thicker brush. And we're not going to, I mean, you can if you want, but I'm just going to put like little hints of blue around. So it can be kind of loose. We also want to do it below, right? Since the bur that since the wire is up in the air.
Now if you prefer to make it a solid blue, you most certainly can. What you can do is use a smaller brush to get up close to the birds. And then use your larger brush for the wide open spaces. Okay, so I hope you had fun making your own birds.